Hello people. I have Eros here running on uh, a Latitude D20 Dell computer. Um, this is uh, yeah the latest version of uh, Eros uh, operating system. You know, uh, very Amiga based. Uh, actually, a clone of uh, Amiga OS 3.1, but uh, with much more modern features. Features. So, uh, okay, uh, maybe I'll just show you, uh, I'm running, uh, I can just turn off the computer, I have Eros uh, here on a USB, USB storage device, just plug it in here in the USB port, turn on the computer, press F12, then we have the boot option, USB storage device, and this computer, can run Eros with native graphics. We, we have a driver for some NVIDIA cards and uh, some uh, Intel graphic cards. And this is supported. You know, it's not a quite weak graphic chip. It's like GMA 950 Intel graphic chip. But this is uh, still cool. You know, you can run some games. I have like this uh, start menu down here. So I have, you can see the, in the menu, I have programs here and I can go to games. I can run Voxel Bird. This is the 3D graphic chip. So, um, yeah, just to show you a little bit quickly how it runs. This is Enough about, about this. Quite nice game actually. Yeah. This cool. I, I, <laughs> menu. Exit. And as you can see, you know, in the work folder I have some games here. If you want to add some games to the start menu, you have, uh, if you right click here, you have settings. And then you can, uh, in the dock, you can have a different, uh, like yeah, you can see I have programs to, so if you like, you can add something here like called uh, uh, mu music. If you have a lot of music programs, you can add this and then you can add programs to uh, the music directory here. So it shows up here, like, but just to show you like in games, then you can put add program and then I can put SQRX uh, set 4 into here and OK, save. Then if I go to games, then it's here. So this is a nice uh, start menu. Here we have M player, you can play all kind of media files from FLAC, MP3, music files to lots of all kind of video files. You name it, this place. Most people know this program. Um, I can also show you one more game. Uh, Quake 3. Also using the 3D graphic chip. Just show you fast. This I will not play much. I don't have a mouse here either. It's kind of boring to play this game without a mouse. But anyway. You can just see it running. Here we have it. You know, not so high resolution, but uh, it's uh, very playable. Fast and... Also this um, CPU is uh, Intel Core 2 Duo 1.6 GHz. So. This is a quite fast CPU, but uh, as I said, the the uh, graphic card itself is is not exactly <laughs> very nice. But anyway, cool to uh, get it running. We also have a program that is called um, Load Paint. This is um, very much like GIMP or uh, Photoshop. 
Uh, you can just uh, open. Uh, this is this program actually needs uh, to run uh, native. Uh, you have to have some supported 3D hardware to run this program. And uh, I can just open a picture, and you can see here. This is Batman. Here we have all kind of filters, sharpness. Let's see this. Yeah, sharpen, whatever. Here we can update preview if you do some uh, changes to the settings. Uh, maybe try high pass filter, then you can put the radios here. You see the updates immediately. Wrapping. Yeah, you can go. Here we have. All kind of color, you know, negative solarize, threshold gray, you know, all this normal Photoshop things. Yeah. Filters. Yeah. But this, this is a really nice uh, image manipulation program. You can you, you do a lot with this. So, uh, really useful. Okay. Uh, we also have a program, you know, called Snapshotter. Very cool program. I'm not going into that now. I can do this like in a separate video because it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it takes time. Uh, I just want to show you a little bit. Uh, and, of course, Direct Reopus. Is running really good. I uh, really like this program. You know, it's nice for uh, all kind of file uh, manipulation. Not not manipulation, but file uh, handling. You know, from <laughs> moving, deleting, unpacking, packing, uh, all this stuff. Um, totally love uh, directory opus. But I also use Workbench because sometimes I think Workbench is. Uh, it's nicer to use, so this is like, I like the combination. But anyway, uh, Odyssey web browser, really advanced web browser. We have uh, in Eros now, Deadwood, uh, Christoph did a really good job uh, porting this to Eros uh, from, um, from the Morphos version. That's been uh, very good, well developed, you can see. Fabian uh, developed it from 2009 to 2014 and Christoph Deadwood from 2014 to 2016 and it's very advanced you know and it's really running fast uh, on Eros and this computer is uh, you know of course I'm running this from the USB storage device now if you install it to uh, if you have an SSD hard disk or you can even put the whole program into the uh, RAM disk. That's really running real fast. That that will be a little bit fun to, to show you, but it takes a little bit of time and maybe we can do it. Have you seen uh, now I'm running Amiga, just AmigaWorld.net? You see it's because of the USB storage device, it's not loading that fast, but you, you see when it's loaded, it's really scrolling very fast and fantastic. Uh, but just for fun, why not? I can talk some, <laughs> some uh, about some other things while maybe I just copy the whole program to uh, RAM disk. This is, yeah, doesn't take a very long time, but here we have the wireless manager. Uh, this is, can, you can scan all the wireless networks uh, near you and uh, you can just put in the passphrase down there and, and connect. So this is, um, this is a good uh, way to uh, connect uh, anywhere you are uh, easily. Um, okay, and now I um, put it in the RAM disk. I just iconify this. And uh, we will start Odyssey. Also, uh, icon uh, programs is also uh, working uh, re really good. Like you just saw that in the wireless manager, but here also, you know, you can iconify, then 
the opposite. My uh, Odyssey is there. Okay, let's try again. Uh, Amiga World. And here, when you start typing, you see it's coming up. There, Amiga World. If you hold the left alt button, you can use the arrow keys and to quick access Amiga World, you know, so you don't have to type the pages you've been to, you know, all the way. And you can see here, now it's loaded already. This was like much faster than from the USB storage device. So this is cool. And you know, you can see like some really crowded uh, page with lots of uh, JavaScript and whatever, like uh, Amazon UK. This is uh, loading really fast, you know, and it's uh, everything is working really good. You can see this page is quite advanced. And you see from the menus here, let's go to books. For example here, clicking books. You see? Really good. Jamie Oliver Christmas cookbook, yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, and I can show you the last thing uh, from downloading files. Let's go to Aminet. We can uh, search for the Aeros files, uh, take whatever, something here. Uh, wallpapers. Download to RAM disk. Of course, you can sec select where you want to download, but I just selected to, to RAM disk. And you see the progress, and I will show you when it's finished. I just have like in the data types, it's uh, recognized so this um, an archiver is opening automatically when this file is um, finished downloading. I can just double click on the archive and uh, it will show up. Look now, you know, it's down here, wallpapers. So, and then you can unpack the, of course, where you want destination. Okay, RAM disk. Then unpacked. Open the ROM disk now, and it's. Just have to show all files or. <laughs> Open Dopus is better, I think, for. Uh, window view all files. And wallpapers, something. This is the, what we downloaded. This is a lot of wallpapers, obviously. Picture files, yeah. Yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and uh, try out Eros, it's really good now and fun to use if you uh, like the Amiga kind of computers. Uh, this is, uh, I think, the most advanced and the nicest uh, way to, to run it now if you want to run uh, modern uh, programs. Uh, you know, this is a real fast computer. Thank you, bye bye.